everybody. Hey everybody. Welcome to Let's Play RC. So today Dylan and I are going to do some more aluminum upgrades from GPM Racing on the Traxxas UDR. Coming up. Welcome back guys. So like we said we were going to do some more upgrades on this UDR and the, uh, the aluminum parts we have today are Brake calipers. Brake calipers. And, and three mil three hex. Mil hex brake disc. Disc brakes. Want to show them, buddy? Whoops. As well as we are going to do the uh, front hub carriers, turnbuckles. I don't know why they call that a. Oh, knuckle. They call it a. GPM calls it a knuckle arm. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then your rear uh, hub carriers. So, let's get to it, I guess, eh? Yep. I'll take that. Okay, so we're going to start with the rear guys. So, in order to take off the rear, you need to remove let's go this, ahead. Screw. this screw. This screw. And on the top, this screw. Let's see if you guys can see that. Hold this on. This screw right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that'll remove the rear carrier, the plastic disc brake, and caliper. Okay. Okay. hub carriers is UDR022 slash R slash R is just for red UDR022 okay and for the um, brake calipers the part number is UDR006 and then BK stands for black so UDR006 and then for the brake, the disc brakes, the part number is UDR010DX plus 3MM slash R. So these will all be, all the part numbers will be down in the description below. Good job, son. So once you remove those screws, you pry it off, your drive shaft might come with it. And here's the brake calipers. Should you guys in this camera? Okay, rear axle hub is one. Even. Okay. Here's the other one. Yeah. Unwrap the disc brakes. Okay. Here go. Here's the two disc brakes. The nut. Put your drive shaft back in. Turn it till it clicks in. Push your bearing in, make sure your pinhole is out, then you put this Whoa. guy on, like that. Okay. Right? Okay. And then you put your pin back in here. Okay. Maybe. There we go. Hello. Then you take your disc brake and your caliper. So you start the disc brake. Slide your caliper on. Pull that out. And there you go. 
Now, we'll drive in our long screws first from this direction. Here, drive this screw in. There and there, right? This one? Yeah. Make sure you have Loctite on the end of it. This one. You got your driver? In the car. There you go. Did you like that joke? Ha 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 ha! You're funny. Yeah, my driver is in. Your the, driver is in the car. He's in my UDR. I meant your hex okay. driver. <laughs> I know. Take my bit. Wait. Is that right tight? Yeah, tight. Yeah, okay. Good. Alright, well that's done. Then you just want to put in your caliper screw. Right here. Caliper. Which is the short, fatter one. But it needs a little Loctite too, right? Beauty. The rear end is done. Okay, now it's front end. So. Alright guys, so now we're off to the front end. We have the... Same, okay. same thing for the... We have... For the uh, calipers and disc brakes. Yep. And then you have your front... Front knuckle arms is what UDR calls, um, GPM calls it. Okay, so the part number for these, the front knuckle arms is UDR021. UDR021. Be down in the description with all the others. So the front ones are pretty simple as well. Hopefully you guys can see up in that top camera. Remove your steering link here. This screw we'll definitely reuse because this is already a stainless steel from when we did the steering links. Um, be sure to check out the entire playlist guys if, uh, if you haven't already, if you're interested in all the upgrades on the UDR. So once that's removed then there's a screw on top of the... Caster block. I was trying to remember what we call these caster blocks. UDR calls them something else. You said, Dylan? No, GPM. Or sorry, GPM calls them something it's else. It's okay. I, I mix GPM. <laughs> <laughs> we keep doing that. <laughs> it's because it's three words each. Yeah. UDR, GPM. So here's the. Um... Yeah. What, what do they call them? The front knuckle arms. Front knuckle arms. Or a caster block. So basically it's your front hub carrier that turns for the steering. Now Dylan, we got... So then you remove the bottom screw on this, which might take us a bit of time here, buddy. It's uh, it's full of dirt. What? So find a little bit smaller bit. You know what? I've just decided a tool that we need for this shop is some kind of little like tiny ice pick or something <laughs> because uh, these screws always get filled with dirt and then you can't get your hex driver in to remove them okay so those are the without stripping those were the front knuckle arms that's what GPM calls them caster blocks yeah caster blocks steering yeah. blocks yeah. steering hub the, blocks and then here's the brake calipers you've already seen me open a pair of these 
All right. Once the casters, the two screws are, you just pop it off. Those work as good spinners. Oh yes. My bad, I forgot. So there's also a screw right in here to remove the. Um, why can't I think? To remove the um brake caliper. The brake caliper. The brake caliper in part holds on the disc brake. And with that brake caliper in the way, you can't slide your drive shaft out. So, almost forgot there, guys. But once you do that, then you, sh you can pop the brake caliper off with the disc brake. And now, you can uh, gain access to your uh, hub pin there. Now you can remove your dog bone drive shaft. Then you need to remove your be old bearings, you reuse your old bearings. If you want to replace them, go ahead, find the right ones. We're going to reuse them. Now these front bearings are in pretty dirty shape. In the climate we live in with the snow and everything, they get pretty worn out. Um, you can help protect those bearings with a little bit of marine grease. We actually did a video on that. We'll put that in this card here, maybe. So we're just going to clean them up. We're going to check them, make sure they're running smooth. While we got them out, let's put a little high-speed bearing oil. You can pop out the seal ring and put the high-speed bearing oil. But honestly, this high-speed bearing oil, if you just lay it on top, it'll seep in. Now you want the new arm. Now the uh, the new caster block. These are marked left and right. So that one has an L on it. And we are working on the right side. So we want the right one. This one says right. Ah, that's funny. We want the right one. That's right. Right. We want the right one, or the <laughs> correct one. <laughs> right so. and correct. And right in my right hand. It's marked with an R for right. Is it for... Which really makes sense. Like when, sorry, when you put it back on here, your steering link's going to go here, right? So, right <laughs> yeah. or left? Right. Right. Um. So, put your... <laughs> <laughs> are, are you saying, like, correct right? Mm -hmm. on the, is the R standing for correct right or, like, my right hand? <laughs> <laughs> Pop your bearings back in. Now... As we said, <laughs> a little bit of marine grease, just on the bearing. This will help seal out water when running. I uh, need a little bit on this one too, bud. Just put a little layer of marine grease on here. This stuff's very I sticky. Just put that right there. This stuff is very sticky and very water resistant. Hence the word marine grease. Marina. There. Marina. So that's what we like to do. Now we can put our. It's very greasy too. Dog bone drive shaft. Get a little on your finger. Back in, just like so. Thank you, son, for your extra hands and help. Yep. I tried. Okay. Now we're going to make sure we slide this dog bone back in to the slot on the transfer case or dif differential out drives. Right? And as, as you're maneuvering, it's going to try to pop. So you got to make sure you leave it, keep it in there. There. And then let's flip the truck this way you guys might not be able to see this too well but now I'm gonna drive one of the screws down in what one do you need? Um, it would be a long one right like this super long one yeah like these there we go okay and Dylan if you don't mind I have an extra hand I'm gonna use an extra hand a little Loctite on that 
Perfect. Oh, and I moved. Down through. These are a lot of greases and oils in this truck right now. There's one screw for the caster block. And again, and when you do the bottom one, make sure that your dog bone is still in the outdrive. Line this up on this ball joint here. And do the same thing with another Can long screw. Can I have another long uh, screw with some Loctite, please? Yep. So, and we'll push that guy in. So there's the new caster block on. Next we're going to put our pin back in. They gave you replacement pins again, but we'll use our old one because there's nothing wrong with it. And then we have extras kicking around if we ever break this one. Because every now and then these pins will break, especially when you're running in water and bad conditions. It'll uh, get corroded and brittle and they will snap. I've snapped a few of them. Not on this particular truck, but on a couple of my other trucks. So, so there's that, and then we need a caliper and the one of the disc brakes. And the same thing with these guys, you got to kind of build it all together because the, the uh, caliper holds the disc brake on. So if you push this disc all the way down, you can't get the caliper on. If you put the caliper on, you can't bend the disc inside. So you got to kind of put the caliper over the disc bring your disc down and then slide it all in so that everything fits in its slot. Here's the disc. Just like so. Screw? Right? Um, ready and prepared. Is it got Loctite on it? No. That I was not prepared. No, you weren't. Remember buddy, steel on steel. We gotta have Loctite on every screw. Down in that hole for the caliper. And then that's it for the front other than re-putting your steering link back on. Now on the steering link, the uh, GPM one here has two holes, one, two. Uh, the back hole here is like a stock setup, I guess. There it is. So those look pretty spiffy. Okay guys, so that's your uh, front and rear calipers, disc brake, hub, uh, hex, hex, nut. hex nuts. Um, and front caster blocks. We'll call them caster blocks just because we like that better. So they look pretty sweet. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. So if you guys like that video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss anything. Until next, next time, time get, get out, out and play. play. See, See you guys, guys later. later.